If you're a Thomson Reuters Icon user, Updater Analytics adds a whole new dimension to your market terminal. Really, really powerful. Here I've got my Icon running. Um, and the key, key thing about Icon, it's it's a lovely environment. It's, uh, you know, you type in the code. So if you type in a, a stock code, you know, it's really, really very friendly to use. Um, but the key thing is, is that, you know, it's a new newer technology and um, it's, it's really nice, but it's the speed at which you operate. So here is a, you know, is a, a general chart of Apple, but if you want to go that extra level, then Updater just gives you that extra power. So here we see we can just go and type the code, um, and Updater remembers all the codes that you've previously typed on your icon terminal, and there you see the code. And that chart really is super quick because of the way updater caches the data and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute but let's just maybe just look at the the starting point a lot of energy traders a lot of people in commodities markets use um, icon and the updater is really powerful in this area as well and one of the key things that we do is straight away from the icon terminal you can get these desktops so this one here is the crude oil desktop um, some of you might recognize from charts this week my starting desktop and here we see the daily uh, the 60 minute charts the intraday charts really fantastic and then the spread charts and another one of these um, desktops is uh, Forex again uh, Reuters icon very strong on on Forex charts here we see the uh, the the daily charts and the 60 minute charts so again a really powerful aspect um, of of Thomson Reuters so if I take you to the charts menu this is really where updater comes into its own and um, a good example of this is that we can just uh, in, this is a list here of uh, Dow Jones members this will open a tracker chart notice again how quick that chart is and so this chart is now um, primed here and if I um, take say one of my templates so here I've got a relative strength chart um, a momentum and an on balance chart and I can just take this chart out and um, you know easily move around and click and play so key thing here is that you that you'll just see the speed at which the charts load because of updater's caching technique and that becomes really valuable to us when we want to start doing some scanning and if I just show you that even on intraday data I can go back and let's make this a 60 minute chart and I'm going to make it an Ichimoku chart and again I can just now go through the data and you see this is now intraday data really quick coming from your Thomson Reuters again some of these requests it's going back and, and, and requesting data that it hasn't got previously but this is a really powerful way of, of getting through the data so um, that's that's really powerful as well so if I show you just some of the chart analytics um, we can go to pretty well any chart we we want to start with so um, if I take for example um, a WTI chart lots of functions here in the updater analytics so we've got all the different chart types um, you know lines candlesticks point and figure Manhattan swing charts true market profile um, all their proprietary indicators all built in um, so all available to you keystrokes so really quick for just doing your analysis all on your Thomson Reuters data so really add some uh, power here to your to your system so here for example we see a MACD histogram there really is a massive number of indicators available to you and if I just show you some of the um, the the, the um, key ones here so here's a historic correlation so we could do um, a, a, a correlation um, with the euro for example um, and so this is taking data and you can take data from different data sources if you want to look at OTC markets and and exchange markets but here we see the correlation between crude and the euro lots of other functions like uh, seasonality so this one very popular if I do a five-year weighted seasonality this shows us how crude trades trades across a year so lots and lots of these kinds of functions and one of the things that's really powerful about updater is just the ability to manipulate the charts um, 
as you as you wish and of course a lot of zoom functions all the sorts of things you'd expect in um, in Windows software so really really powerful in that regard lots of key presses so you can do any chart of any chart um, you can easily add more and more charts to the system there's also charts in this drop down here dozens and dozens of indicators so here for example if I want to put on an RSI if I click on this chart I can then do a moving average of that chart you can produce any chart of any chart and if I even wanted to turn this into um, um, a, a chart on its own I can go and make these charts uh, individual custom tickers so I can create any chart and analysis that I like is just a really powerful aspect um, within the within the updater system. Lots and lots of tools as you would expect, technical analysis tools, um, things like Fibonacci retracements, um, all the studies in there, trend lines of course, really straightforward versus many other systems, just easy to put trend lines on, drag parallels, just really, really user-friendly um, windows there. If you know things like if I want to do a Fibonacci retracement, um, really powerful just to be able to put those on your charts and and expand them. So a whole series of studies and tools that are available to you. And um, one of the things that's really key about Updater is also we've got things like um, custom indicators. So custom indicators and trading strategies, over a thousand pre-built indicators and trad trading strategies in your system. So you'll almost never find um, an indicator or tool that hasn't been written and we'll come to the custom uh, testing in a, in a moment. Market breadth studies as well, so all sorts of market breadth studies that you can um, do on the system as well. So that's just a, a, another really powerful um, aspect of, of the updater um, analysis suite. One of the things that's really, really popular in Updater is just hold the key down, Shift and T, and it will put all the trends and targets on your system for you. So um, again, that's a really popular feature with an Updater. If I go to a 60-minute chart, Shift T, instant gratification, will put all the horizontal and vertical point and figure targets on, and um, this just really just does take you to an extra dimension. So if I take a, a look at the um, some of the the scanning functionality um, in the in the scanning menu we have quotes here scans in the automation menu we have uh, lots of people writing reports you can produce your own chart books um, you can run automated scans overnight on large uh, stock universes so that's a really powerful aspect as well but if I um, just run an, an example of a scan um, and there's lots and lots of different um, uh, scans in here that uh, in these libraries so in fact you can um, you can go and download um, there's a whole series of indicator scans that are pre-written uh, in our libraries so you can go and um, look at a, a technical scan so we could look at say let's have a look for um, divergence and I could run this let's run this on the um, the the Nasdaq so if I look in my lists I've got a lot of different lists in my system you end up building up um, more and more of these uh, lists so um, here if I uh, take up the uh, Nasdaq um, Nasdaq icon so this is running through um, the the, the um, histories that are saved on your disk to find the stock. So this one here I scanned for divergence. And divergence is, is a pre-written scan and updater. If you're a technical analyst, you'll know that divergence is actually um, quite a hard uh, uh, criteria to define and um, it, you know it when you see it on the chart but to actually define it mathematically is is quite a challenge so here the system is running through all the histories and producing those results and um, it's really really powerful in the way that it's the beauty of the history has been scanned. Now as I said a lot of people schedule these scans to run overnight so here we're seeing all of the stocks that are showing divergence and we'll look at the charts in a minute in fact the scan that I ran was for divergence on the on balance volume so I'm looking for stocks that are doing different things on the price than the volume suggests and, and we'll see the uh, list come to uh, the end here 33 stocks in the NASDAQ 100 showing divergence. If I go and click on the chart, this 
just shows us the divergence marked on and I can actually just go through the results and you can see here the great thing about the results is you want to eyeball these results to see these for yourself so you know just a really powerful aspect of of the system so um, that's a good example of one if I run another scan and uh, let's say I want to find stocks in the Dow Jones index that have got um, 50% upside and I'll show you this um, actual uh, the highlighter environment you can write your own scans really easily with these checkboxes so I'm looking for stocks 1% log scale point and figure charts that have got in an uptrend where the target is more than 50% away now because there's only a few stocks in the Dow I might just change that to 25% and um, save those changes and save it and run um, I'm just going to save that scan uh, yes and now we'll run that on the um, on uh, the icon uh, Dow Jones index members calculate and you, you see again that it's running through these 30 histories these charts are actually very very complex charts these are 1% log scale point and figure charts that means the box size is changing with the price um, so we're not seeing many um, Start, this is the running the first pass through the history looking for that first criteria which we're looking for double top breakouts there's the first one so um, Apple has got more than 25 percent upside I mean imagine this you can actually run through stocks and and look for stocks that have got the upside above your criteria so there are four and this Merck being grey tells me that this came into the list only yesterday so it wasn't in the uh, in the list the day before and here we see the targets all marked on the charts and again I can just go scrolling through these charts um, and it just again really powerful seeing the, the uh, stocks that have got that upside so that's another um, uh, reason why updater users use updater last of all if I just show you some of the custom coding um, really again a powerful aspect of the updater system so um, it, again in the libraries we've got hundreds and hundreds of different indicators um, all available to you um, so there's just lots and lots of custom charts and then trading strategies as well over here but if I run an um, um, a pattern so let's say I want to look at the ideal stop loss to use um, so this is just one of my systems we will write these systems for you there's um, there's a programming language within updata and if you can program in Visual Basic or C Sharp you can also use that so here we see um, this is the uh, standard code on the updater system um, and the code is just really really simple to use with all this sort of syntax and highlighters I'm going to go and optimize these uh, 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 parameters so uh, let's just uh, um, let's um, run a test here um, I've got to uh, just save this um, I, no. and so um, I'm going to just optimize these parameters here um, so we'll do a quick optimization um, and I want to test maybe between 2 and 5% uh, and I'm going to do the same here 2 and 5% uh, and I'm going to use a step size uh, of uh, let's say a half and I'm just trying to work out very quick and dirty which are the ideal stops to use and of course you can run these on on multiple instruments so you just type in the the ticker so this is the Reuters ticker I'm going to test euro dollar um, there's all sorts of um, transaction costs and things you can enter but I'm just going to do this as a quick uh, frictionless system so it's running through that euro history it's making several passes just to work out which is the most optimum um, uh, set of parameters to use so it really just su suddenly I'm starting to see this narrow the results down looks to be around three or four percent um, I may want to increase my range just to test this of course it's testing this over a, a long period and so I've now got my results um, the test parameters are there here's the optimization these are the individual results which you can take out to a spreadsheet but the the instant gratification is the chart itself and in fact if I just take this chart out um, we can see it here um, and I've just put the uh, the, 
the signal arrows on this chart so these are the trades you could actually say okay alert me based on this system so the next time I get a signal but it's saying use 4% uh, long and 3.5% short this is your equity curve this is the underlying so really really powerful so if you're using the Thomson Reuters icon system why not take a trial of updater and just see the extra power that it can add to your system for you